hamburger? Ah, yes, a hamburger. Would you like a hamburger? I'll let you eat first. Open wide. Ah, uh, I can't give it to you. I guess I'll have to eat it. Mmm, delicious. Oh god, I'm so weird. Okay, moving on. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back here in a block burger. Get it? Block burg, block burger. Ah, I'm so funny, huh? So funny. For today's episode, I thought we'd revisit one of my second, um, oh my god, I can't speak. So for today's Blockbird episode, I thought we decide, I thought we decide, you guys didn't decide this, I did, okay. <laughs> I can't speak! <laughs> so for today's episode, I decided to revisit my second oldest Blockbird build ever. As you guys know, I renovated my first ever Blockbird house, but little did you know, I had a second Blockbird house that I still have from 2017, which was basically three years ago. So we're going to be updating that house with some new things from the update. I also have a speed build for this house, so if you'd like to check that out from 2017. Ah, my gosh, the loading music is... Ow, my ears. Ah. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again. As you guys can see, here we have the build, PETA's Loft, and I actually might fix up this roleplay home too, because this was a throwback. But this was my second ever block brick build ever in the game. And I kept it ever since because of memories. Plants withering, that's how you know your plot is almost loaded. We're here now. This is how my house looked. And I went for more of a modern um, approach with it. And of course, there's a random blue tree house right here, which looks terrible. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I've been using wood uh, pathway. Okay, very interesting. I- Hey, ooh, look at these plants though. This landscaping. Look at this! Wow, I was so advanced. This garage is like one of the most basic things I've ever seen right now. I didn't use any textures in here. My love for blue has not changed. Um, but yeah, this was quite interesting. Oh my goodness. I want to fix up this house. And if you go inside, wow, I use red brick as an interior, which is not bad actually. I kind of like it. But here is my living room. Um, as you can see back then, we couldn't- we didn't have fireplaces, so I had to make my own fireplace by putting a, a fire pit right through a window. Fun fact, there's a secret behind this. It is an arcade- okay, it's supposed to be like an arcade- EXCUSE ME! Okay, anyway, back to, uh, what I was doing before I got rudely interrupted. But yeah, this was supposed to be like a dance club arcade thing. Wow. Look at that. Wow. I could never these days. I could never do these. Living room over here is my kitchen. Wow, I- ooh. Look, I used two different colors and textures. And then if we go up here, this is where the loft is. The loft bed. And yeah, got Twitter birds on there. A uh, nightstand. Oh my gosh, I used to dress up like this. I mean, I still have that outfit. Um, here it is. <laughs> long it's been so long i had a name for this guy his name was harold and then here is a bathroom all right and then if we go through here this was this was basically the guest house so we have a glass hallway that leads into the guest area so this is where the guests would sleep so they also had their own bathroom right here pretty nice and then there's a bunch of random photos. This was me when I was about to get hit by a car. And then this was the guest kitchen area. And then this was supposed to be the um, garden patio-like area. Okay, anyway, that is the house. Oh yeah, out here is like a cookout area. There's oh, I forgot, I put my laundry on the, the roof. We don't need to question that. It's so random, not needed, and it looks ugly. We have to get rid of. We're gonna change up this walkway, the pathway, whatever, to concrete. I kind of like this. I think I might keep this, except for these flowers that are randomly at the sides there. And that flower, it's kind of bothering me. Man, this video is gonna be a mess to edit. First thing I want to get fixed, sort of, is like this roofing here, cause that was that wasn't even a gable roof. That was a mansard roof, wasn't it? Or that was a pyramid roof. Oh, <gasps> that was a pyramid. I really don't know what to do. I mean, this house was kind of modern, and then that garage roof didn't make sense with it. So I think we should just go for a flat roof. I don't know. When I think of modern, I just think of flat or a slanted roof. Can I just get rid of this garage completely? Okay, I'm getting rid of this garage. Do I need a pillar right here? Because I always had trouble with this. Like, so if I always had trouble with the roofs, even back then, still I am now. Don't know how to roof. So yeah, I'm basically, yeah, like I said, I'm updating this house with newer things. Um, I don't know if I'm going to change any part. I don't know if I'm going to change the shape of this house, but I'm definitely going to like change up the roofs. I do like this design I had going on here. I'm going to add some dirt under this. Uh, is this going to look funny? 
It looks kind of cool. I don't know, but I think it looks cool. Oh no, what is going on? Okay, hold on the roof a bit. A little bit of an overhang, a little bit of an overhang, nothing too crazy, and ta-da! Oh god, that looks scary. That looks, that looks scary. Was that too bulky? Oh yeah, what is going on with these lights out here? Oh gosh, when I was obsessed with like just white lighting, now I'm all about the warm lighting. Okay, a, a, a cypress tree. I just recently learned how to say this word, cypress. I kept calling it suppress or compress tree. I kept thinking it was like depressed tree. I need to do more than just trees though. I need to add like a whole like garden. We're gonna get rid of these couches. Oh my god, I hate these couches this oval chair doesn't look bad but the couch looks terrible right it's a modern house i should use like modern furniture but sometimes i just don't even like the look of the modern furniture <laughs> like i don't like the sofa no i think i might get rid of this secret room i think the house would be better off without it it's just like a little random piece back here anyway we're gonna get rid of the built-in fireplace because we don't need that anymore we can actually have a regular like we can actually just put down regular fireplaces i think the elegant one Maybe the basic one? Ew, no. Oh gosh, there's so much to change around here. <laughs> okay, I want to get a brand new desk for this spot. I'm going to switch around a bit. I'm going to move around a bit because I cannot stand one spot forever. I'm going to get tired fast. Swap this out for this one instead. And then I think I'll put these shelves like, like above each other. This house is very open. There's like not many ro rooms going on here, but this was a house I made three years ago and like this was my second ever house so please please don't 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 laugh at me please don't laugh at me it was it was like an experimental type house so i don't even know what i was doing i still don't know what i'm doing or maybe make it like box it off but then make it open so we'll do like a frame I feel like it is it's just too open so i gotta like separate some of these why does it look like this why it built like this? Why was it built like this? I'm redoing the windows, the doors, the roof. Like, it just needs a whole plastic surgery. So I'm working on the kitchen now, even though I, I literally just stopped over here. I haven't even finished this part yet. Oh my god. I'm stressed. I didn't expect to be redoing the entire house. I thought I was just gonna like update the furniture. Maybe like, I don't know, update the roof and furniture. I wasn't expecting a complete plastic surgery. You know what I'm missing? You know what this modern house is missing? Those random parts of the house where there's just like a bunch of, you know, it's like... Okay, this video took like two hours to record, so I'm gonna speed it up a bit because I, I want you guys to see some things but not like skip immediately to the ending, which I probably should. But uh, yeah, this house got completely transformed and um, we're still sticking with white and black themed modern house because, uh, you know, we're keeping some things from the old version of it, but I decided to completely redo it, like bulldoze a bunch of walls, completely disconnect that guest house and just remove it. You'll see that later. Oh my gosh, this house looks completely different from what it used to look like. And I'm really happy. It looks more modern. It fits uh, more of a modern style. And I definitely would say it's an improvement from what I did three years ago. I have gotten a little bit better. Let's be honest here, I might have gotten a little bit better at building since then. And I kind of understand where, where things go and stuff, but okay, I'm gonna I'm stop talking now. Okay, now I just realized what I could be doing. I could turn the living room the other way. And I think of this sooner. What? I was like, why is there so much space? If you just do it this way, it'll look more filled. Look at that. Oh, it changed. We're running out of money too. Lately, I haven't been working on delivery person for a while and I've just been too lazy to work. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to completely get rid of this guest house too. Um, we're going to just completely demolish this because one building took me forever. I don't think I want to try and revamp the other one. <laughs> Ooh, that's fun. Ooh. Ooh, it's like random colors each time. Ooh, I want blue. <laughs> I don't know what else to do in this area. I'm just gonna add more chairs. Like chairs are great space filler. Okay, okay. All right, the house is looking 10 times better. I mean, it's very much better than what it was before. I'm keeping the red bricks right inside this place. It's like the office area. This is two living room spaces. This is a kitchen. This is my bedroom. Oh yeah, I didn't do my much in my bedroom yet. Um, <laughs> Hmm, okay, I'm gonna do some elevated flooring for this area too because we have a problem here So I'm going to just easily fix that by adding another split level in my Bathroom, we don't need to see this just yep cover it up hide it like a dead body and then we'll put like the shower up here I think I'm almost done though. We're getting we're nearing the end. I feel like this part's ugly, but I'm, I'm done. I feel done with this place I'm over this 
I'm done with this house. All right, guys. So I completely transformed the uh, my, my my second ever block brick build. I got really tired of it. I'm done. <laughs> but here's how it turned out. So uh, it definitely looks a lot more modern now. Uh, and now, yeah, this is how things turned out. So we don't have like a garage, like a sheltered garage anymore. It's just flat out open. The house is filled with a bunch of cypress trees. Okay. If we go to the side here, we got my bike. And then we have a place for my moped. And then if we go through the front door, here is how our house looks. Still very similar. It's still, the layout is still pretty similar here. We finally have like um, an upgraded kitchen sort of. And a nice little dining table to eat the food. The islands are actually islands now. Living room area. So there's a lot of like lights going on. I'm just gonna turn off the fireplace. I didn't know what to do with this like spot here. So I put another living room like thing here. Then over here is like the office. And this is the backyard. Did I even just made this one whole texture? I think I'll just make it one whole texture. This is bothering. But yeah, this is the backyard. I should have added some floor lights, but I got tired of it already. But yeah, it's a really nice backyard now. We have a pool. Like this is a newly added pool. And then we finally go upstairs through here. This is kind of sad over here, but it looks cool. I got a little split level bedroom area. He got a computer here now. This is where I wash and dry my clothes. This is a little balcony. All right. And then over here finally is the bathroom. I almost said kitchen again. Good thing I stopped myself. But this is, yeah, this is the bathroom. Random split leveling because there was a, the fireplace was sticking through the floor and I just had to hide it like a dead body. And yeah, this is my really basic bathroom. Okay, we, we don't need to be in here for a while. But yeah, that's basically my house updated with the newest items and features that I could possibly do. Once again, this house was made three years ago and I plan on keeping it. But anyway, guys, that is basically it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, you found it dumb, silly, interesting, or inspiring in some sort of way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you guys want to continue watching any other Roblox videos on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time every day to watch this. I'll talk to you on the next videos. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Have a wonderful day. Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody.